Hi friends, myself Mohammad Barbal, welcoming you all in a MySQL I PHP tutorial. In the previous video, we have discussed about the library function uh, MySQL underscore fetch underscore asoc, which was display uh, used to display records from the MySQL database table. In today's video, we will be discussing about the library function, another library function to display the records, which is one is fetch underscore row. The difference between the fetch underscore asoc and the fetch underscore row is that uh, in a fetch underscore asoc, whenever we are fetching a record into a row variable, uh, means a error variable, all fields will be stored as a field name in a key. But in a row, if you are using a fetch underscore row, the field name will be not be uh, field name will not be stored in a array but it will be converted as an index or a numeric value means uh, starting from a zero up to the number of fields we are having that is n minus one uh, for example if you are having first field id then uh, it will be stored as a zero in a second field it will be stored as a one and for the third field it will be stored as a two into the array variable so firstly we will be uh, discussing about the all method that one is a uh, for mysql library function which are not be available in the future versions of the mysql uh, library in a php versions uh, before continuing uh, i would like to tell that if you like my videos please uh, if you really learning from my videos at least something then don't forget to like my videos then and then only i will be able to come to know that uh, viewers are really liking my concept my videos so i will be able to improve myself in a more better way or at least comment my video so that i can provide a much better content to all of you uh, now displaying our record row will be the error variable mysql fetch underscore row is the library function and into that we will have to pass a resource type variable that one is a result for now and displaying the record with help of echo the first field is the id row variable numeric value 0 for the first field adding br just for um, formatting the output second field or third field name and here it will be city Rep uh, changing a proper field numbers so that's it uh, we have done the code and just for the confirmation shifting to the browser and executing the program here you can see our records is uh, already be displayed uh, id is one name is muhammad and city is a raj code for the second record what we have to do uh, just we have to copy and paste the block to display the record uh, but obvious if we are having uh, more than a one record or more than a two records we can use uh, any of the loop uh, for loop or while loop generally while loop is uh, used again just refreshing the browser here we have the another record now shifting to the mysql top method before that i will just copy the block to save time pasting here and what changes we will have to do just replace a mysql word with an mysql i no more changes are required in a pop method for the mysql i library functions just they have replaced the function name with a mysql i nothing more is been required just a database connection method is been changed in a previous method of a mysql we will uh, we were we are using a select underscore db for uh, opening the database or selecting the database but in mysql i uh, while connecting to the uh, server uh, we have to pass a database name no more other changes are there saving the file and shifting to the browser 
executing a row pop uh, file here you can see the same output will be there mm. now shifting to the pop method sorry op method what changes are there in a pop method result variable which is a, of a resource type was used as an argument of an library function fetch underscore row but in a pop result will be um object and fetch underscore row will be uh, used as a method so a row for storing our output result now will be a method uh, uh, object for our uh, data in which all data has already been stored by in php and fetch underscore row will be a method for that no argument has to be passed as we have already uh, specified a result variable here so so now displaying our data copying the block and last time executing uh, pop and op here you can see an op data has been successfully displayed so this was the changes required for an uh, mysql i library function if you like my videos then don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you very much for watching the whole video yeah.